What's up, Snake fans? It's Friday here, but it's a late Friday. It's Friday night, busy day for me, and I have my Onyx female here. This is an Onyx boa, dwarf boa. It's full grown. It's like a ball python, right? She lives, I actually give her a bigger cage. She could actually live in a V70 tub, but um, I keep her in a slightly bigger tub. It's not a boa tub, it's a little bigger. If you take a look and see how beautiful and how dark this girl is, really awesome looking morph. I got this from Frank Nutt. I imported it a few years ago. And I love this boa project. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of her babies from this year. Uh, she produced some great stuff. And when you mix this Onyx gene or even get it into the super form, and you put something that takes away melanin like hypo or Honduran T positive or blood, you're gonna see some amazing, amazing things happen because there's a huge, huge layer of, of red under this dark pigment that you see right here. And it's just waiting to come out when you put those hypomelanistic genes in there. And this girl, I, I happy, ha actually happen to really love this, this, this snake. It's it got a great personality. It loves, it's very social. It comes out, it actually, when I open the cage, it actually comes out to me and wants to actually be, greet me. And, and I thought initially it wanted to just bite me, but it actually, <laughs> it actually likes to interact and it come out. And, and once again, I don't hold my snakes, you know, a lot, you know, because I, I have so many snakes, but these snakes just, this snake is just a very social snake. Always has been, always will be. And she's a great breeder, and she's, she's one, one of the best eaters uh, that I've had, you know. Sometimes the Central Americans can be a little, you know, picky, especially when they're babies, but she was always a really good eater. Her sister wasn't such a great eater, but she's a really, really good eater. And once again, she, like I said, she's bred for me two years in a row. And I'm super excited to see the potential. This girl is also uh, 60, excuse me, 100% head blood, 100% head for a Honduran T positive. And I found out by, by accident that she's also 100% head for anery type too. So we produced some cool stuff with this girl. Let's go inside, uh, well, we're in the snake room. Let's take a look at some of the babies we produced. I've showed you this little uh, this litter earlier in the year, but I want you to see what it's progressed to and uh, what some of these babies are looking like now because they're very impressive. Here's your Onyx boa. This is the single copy onyx you can tell it's a very dark looking snake it's actually darker than what the camera's picking up the camera looks a little lighter to me than this this snake really is it's much darker it's got the black eye this this female is going to be going to shed i think but this is a copy of this is what the single gene as a baby looks like and the super form is even darker you can see that eye it's definitely in shed going into shed the great thing about the Sonix, however, just like the leopard boa, is that when you strip away some of this darkness, underneath this dark layer is a lot of red. It's really super red. And that's the key. So if you use things like the hypogene or the blood gene or the T-positive gene, which is in, in this litter, you see those reds come out even more. And it shows the brilliance and it shows how the potential of this Onyx project. So let's take a look at some of the other combinations I've made with the blood gene, with the hypo gene, with the Honduran T positive gene. Here's a pretty little female from that same litter. This is a Honduran T positive, single onyx copy. So that's an onyx, not a super onyx, it's an onyx, Honduran T positive, hypo. So it's a sun glow, a T positive sun glow with the onyx gene in it. Really, really nice looking, beautiful potential. And this girl, once again, the black eye from the onyx. And 66% had blood, 66% had anery type 2. But this girl is, is the cornerstone. You can make your own super onyxes. You can make your own super onyx bloods. You can make, I mean, you got all the potential in the world here. And once again, that Honduran T positive is, in my, my mind, I know Freak not agrees with me. The best Honduran tea positive, uh, the best tea positive out there, I think. The reddest. A lot of people talk about the Nicaraguans. I think the Hondurans are better. Here's another one from that litter, another Super Onyx. This is the Super Form. Honduran tea positive. Super Onyx gives it that black eye. Is it a blood? I don't know. 
definitely looks anery type two. I don't know if it has the blood. I don't think it has the blood. I think it would be a lot lighter if it had the blood in it. So I think this is this is the Honduran T positive hypo, which is the T positive sun glow, super onyx. And I think we have the anery there, gene in there too. I don't see much red in this snake. Because the the Honduran T positive super onyx which is called the Red Baron, is very red because onyx has red in it. When you remove some of the dark pigment with the T-positive, you get a red snake. So this, is, this has got to be an anery type 2. Another exquisite boa from this litter. You know, these, these girls and boys are growing up now a little bit. They've been getting meals in them. I've been feeding them really small meals, hopper mice. That's all you really need to do to give these little dwarfs. Actually, all boas really don't need big meals when you first growing them up because they tend to regurge otherwise they just won't eat that's all you get intimidated gorgeous gorgeous this onyx project is great i'm gonna have a few babies available i'm doing a trade with warren booth for a couple of his snakes but i will have a couple to sell too look at this little girl that i produced this is an exquisite boa this is an onyx this is actually a super onyx boa I've showed this to you before, but I'm showing off some of the things that really impressed me because I'm going through the snake room here late at night. And this is what makes gets me excited when I come in here. I see this super onyx blood. Look at those black eyes from the blood. Probably the super onyx also will yield the black eyes. So you get the black eyes from the blood and from the super onyx. It's also Honduran T positive. Could be hypo. And it's definitely anery, type two. So you have quad recessive because it's, it was a Honduran T positive blood, super onyx, anery two. There's four, four, four recessives basically, or four homozygous genes in there. And then obviously the hypo gene. So crazy, right? Five gene animal, but four of them are homozygous. I mean, where do you see that? What a beautiful snake. Look at that. It's like devoid of pattern and color. <laughs> it's weird. If it didn't have the anery type two, it would be all, it would, this would be jet red for sure. Frank Nutt has one. But with the anery, it's like, it's like literally someone sucked. They, it's like, a, this is like, you're talking about ghost. That's ghost times 10. Look at that beautiful eye. Wow, this snake is, is very special. 100% a hold back. Look at that tail. It's a super onyx. This is a dwarf boa too. It's gonna to be nice and small. It's not gonna to get too big. Probably get the size of a ball python. Live its whole life in a D70 vision boa, uh, excuse me, ball python tub. Look at that head. Exquisite. And let's finish off with this female. Very similar to the, to the one I showed you before, the quad homozygous animal. I think it's pretty much, I think it's the same thing. Once again, I think this is super onyx, blood, Honduran T positive, anery type two, hypo. This one has even like, like almost like a striping to it. No pattern whatsoever, completely striped out. Unique, different looking. Let's let's get that other first female out there and compare these two. All right, so there they are. This is the first one I, I took out. Here's the second one. Very similar. I think they're the same. This one looks a little brighter, maybe. Both females from the same litter. Once again, that quad recessive with the hypogene, or quad homozygous, really, because the onyx is not really a recessive. It's an incomplete dominant, but... You, we have it in the homozygous form, so that's two copies, so it's essentially the same thing. Look at that. Two beauties. Two beauties here. Can't get much better than that. I mean, you almost it almost looks albino, right? I mean, it's so light-colored. And they're getting better and brighter as they're getting older. All right, guys, that's going to do it for uh, this episode. This is my Red Baron. This is the Super Onyx Honduran T-positive. Look at this guy. When he was born, he was super red. 
you know, they all get a little browner as they get older. But look at this. That Honduran tea positive with that Super Onyx mixture is exquisite. And I'm breeding him with another Onyx I have that I'll show you another time, another project I got hopefully going on this year. I still have yet to get babies from him. This year should be the first time, hopefully. Uh, the female's finally kind of up to size and she's eating well. Uh, these, these dwarf boas, sometimes you have to give them a little more time. Sometimes they got to be a little older to breed. They're small snakes to begin with. And so, you know, but it's worth it because look at this. This is a full grown male. You know, I don't overfeed my boas or at least <laughs> I don't overfeed my males. That's for sure. And you know, this thing has more than enough room. He just, he could even go in smaller than a vision, a, a V70 vision tub. He probably can go in the V35 if he really wanted to. I keep him in a V70 just to give him a little extra room, but he's not a big snake. And that's what makes these dwarf boas so appealing. And once again, this is a, a beautiful look. I didn't make one this year, but you know, this is something that I could have made. Um, we made something a little better than this even. And as you can see, we saw that we have the blood and the artery in this as well. So if you guys like this Onyx project as much as I do and are as excited about it as much as I am, you know, contact me because we have some babies available. Um, you guys can get into this project without having to import them, you know, from the Netherlands like I didn't spend a lot of money on it. And it's an exciting project. Once again, it's pure dwarf locality, so you're not going to get, you know, big snakes. And I'm keeping them very pure. So I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend coming up. Uh, actually, we're actually on. It's actually Saturday now because it's after 12. <laughs> can you imagine it? I'm in the snake room. Fun stuff. I better get back. You never know when the little babies could wake up. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit the like button. We'll see you back Monday morning.